indicated that the report to Cabinet uh, next week will be published. That's a good thing. And also that you've agreed with my proposal that uh, the Oireachtas Health Committee would be fully briefed by the Secretary General. And I think it should be helpful if there are people there from the legal section in the department also. But in 2005, when the Travers report into illegal charging for nursing home care was published, it blamed systematic maladministration in the Department of Health. The report detailed how an illegal charging regime had persisted for nearly three decades and said there were shortcomings at political level in not probing and questioning this charging regime. At the time, the current Tánis de Michal Martin, of course, was Minister for Health. He maintained he had never been briefed on the issue, a contention that was very hotly uh, disputed by the then Secretary General Michael Kelly. Fast forward 18 years and it appears we are again being told that ministers failed to question or probe this issue. We're told a briefing note in 2016 stated, quote, it has been agreed by the Minister and the Attorney General's office that settlements are made within the range of 40 to 60 per cent of the capital value of the claim and on the best terms possible. It's the end of the quote. Taoiseach, of course, you were the Minister who was briefed uh, at the time that that note was, was prepared. Yesterday on the Pat Kenny show, you were quite categoric and you said, I was never party to devising or agreeing a legal strategy in relation to nursing home charges. Now, so, Taoiseach, that wasn't the claim. The claim was that you went along with it. And I take it from what you're saying today that you, you know, accept that, that you went along with this strategy. On News Talk yesterday, you also said that the state has always disputed any liability when people were placed in private nursing homes. This may have been the public position, but was that really the case behind the scenes? Because the legal strategy suggests it was not that clear cut. <coughs> It stated that cases should be settled as soon as discovery was sought. In 2017, we're told that a briefing document uh, that was provided to then Health Minister Simon Harris and Minister of State for Older People, McEntee, stated, I quote, discovery would carry very significant risks and should therefore be avoided. The implication of that seems clear. There were clearly documents within the department that could expose the state to liability if they were made public. So Taoiseach, the government has now conceded the legal strategy which the mail uh, has revealed does in fact exist, but has said it predates 2011. That was the statement from government last night. So can you tell us when was this strategy first devised? Do you accept you were made aware of it? Uh, and when were you made aware of it? A more significant issue, I think, for all of those ministers during that period is, did you, Taoiseach, or any of those ministers ever question this legal strategy up, Deputy, to determine please. if it was fair and if, you were, if people were being unfairly penalised for being denied access to Thank nursing you, home Deputy care? Shortall, Taoiseach, please. Thanks, Stephanie. As I mentioned earlier, the Attorney General has been asked to prepare a report on the matter for Cabinet next week, and it will be published. Uh, there will be statements in the Dáil next week, and as I think you acknowledged earlier, earlier on, on the radio this morning, uh, it's reasonable that ministers have a bit of time to put all the documents together because this does, does go back uh, a long way. And there have been no new cases in over 10 years, although many have been settled more recently. Uh, and as you suggested earlier, uh, this is something I'm sure the Joint Directors Committee will want to, will want to look into. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Deputy, in terms of my own role, I was Minister for Health 2014 to 2016. It's six to eight years ago. Um, I must have been briefed on it. Um, ministers before me and after me were, as were the junior ministers, but I can't tell you when or by whom, in what depth or in what detail, or whether it was written or verbal. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to find that out uh, when, when, when documents um, are gone through in the Department of Health. Uh, the policy and strategy was derived and agreed prior to me becoming Minister for Health. Uh, I don't specifically know if I was asked to sign off on continuing it, but as I said, if I was, uh, I would have, because this is a sound policy approach uh, and, and a legitimate legal strategy um, by government. And Deputy, I would ask what the alternative was uh, to this uh, policy approach and this legal strategy. The alternative would have been uh, to open up the scheme to people uh, who had uh, attended private nursing homes. Uh, even though we didn't believe they had a legal entitlement to any refunds. That wouldn't have been right. Governments have a duty to protect the taxpayer. Governments also have a duty to protect the health budget. 
uh, to make sure that the health budget gets spent on health care uh, and not on, on refunds. And we have a duty also to be fair to people and to be just, and I acknowledge that. Um, but it is very clear uh, that, the, that the case that the state had strong defences uh, in regard to this, uh, that people who had medical cards, just as now, uh, are not entitled to refunds for private care. The issue that successive governments penalised medical card holders who needed nursing home care. And that was the question that I asked earlier. You know, throughout that entire period, 30 years, did no minister ever say, hang on, why are we not providing medical card patients with proper care when they need it? And do you accept, Thishak, that fundamental to this entire issue is the fact that there is no legal entitlement to public health care? That we talk about and have always talked about eligibility for care, even though in many cases that care isn't provided. And isn't that the fundamental issue? That there is no legal entitlement to public health care in this country, irrespective of a person's circumstances. No legal entitlement the way in which there is a legal entitlement to social welfare. And isn't it time that we address that issue? Thank you, Deputy. Uh, Deputy, I think, I think that's a fair point, and what you say is true. There is no uh, universal legal entitlement to public health care or social care in Ireland, and there wasn't at the time. Uh, there, was no legal, there was no legal entitlement uh, there, uh, and people who claim that, that, that there was, uh, I, I think, um, are, are incorrect. Um, things were changed in 2009, uh, long before as a minister, when I was in opposition, in fact, when the Fair Deal scheme was brought in. Uh, so certainly by the time uh, the government was formed in 2011, uh, by the time the Fair Deal was set up in, in 2009, there was a scheme in place to provide uh, universal, health, universal uh, nursing home care uh, on a universal basis to people. And there was also a compensation scheme that was established uh, by the previous government, by Minister Harney. And that compensation scheme was put in place uh, for people who attended public nursing homes. Um, this matter relates to people who attended uh, private nursing homes. And the view of the state was that uh, their medical card, just as it does not now, did not give them an entitlement to refunds for private care. And even if it had, it would not have been a case of just going to the nursing home of your choice uh, and then asking the government to, to pick up the bill. There would have had to be some scheme in place. Um, and that is the defence uh, that, that the state had. Thank you, Taoiseach. Uh, Deputy Michael Healy-Ray, please.